Hi everyone, we're at and why Mexico TV. We have with us Alfre Romeo. <laughs> yes, Alfredo Romeo. Anna Reynoso. Yes, Anna Reynoso. Angel Salas. Now we're very pleased to have these three wonderful people with us on our show. They're they're actors. They also have a production in Two Leo Productions. Can you please let us know, Anna Reynoso, a little bit about your production? I know that you are partners with Juan Shamsul. Uh, yes, um, we've been working together for the uh, since um, two or five. Uh, and now we actually got a, a production together called Two Leo Film Production, and we have a, uh, actually a big cast. And we've been, you know, we having a lot of we have a lot of projects actually that we're working on. I see that you have some great actors like Romeo and Angel Salas. Angel, tell us your experience about the current movie. I know we're recording Seven Diamonds. How is it going? Well, so far it's going very well. I mean, I love my character. My character's name is Arturo, and I'm not going to tell you the joke that goes behind that, <laughs> but uh, it's off the set. But the movie is going very well. It's a, it's a pleasure acting with uh, Mr. Romero and Anna. Great people. Outstanding cast. Okay, Romeo, I know that you've also done some other soap operas like Low and Order and other programs. Can you let us know which other programs are they? Um, I also did este, El Rostro de la Venganza in, in la novela que salió. Y este, I've done, like you said, a lot of Law and Order MTV shows. But um, I'm working with Seven Diamonds with Anna and Angel. And um, great, great cast, like you said, just to piggyback off that. And we're working with Wang Sam Shu. And they're going to do other movies with Lou Torres. That Lou Torres has done a lot of stuff out there. And um, it's called uh, Soul Collector, uh, The Zookeeper with Anna. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just looking forward to doing a lot of uh, Hispanic and Latino things. You know, really, really positive. So I know that you're not only staying in the American industry, but you're also going into the Hispanic history, like doing El Rostro de la Venganza. What's your character? Um, I was a uh, bodyguard for the for the guy, the the lead guy. I don't I don't know his name, but um, we had we had did a couple of scenes in the limousine. All the limousines we we did, and it was filmed here. And then they had to go to Florida to do it. How did you start in acting? Well, I went to a school, the same school that um Ed Norton. Ed Norton was my teacher, and I went out there for two years. And um, I've been f I've been acting for eight years. Years. Yeah. Wow, that's a very long. What are your plans for the future? Any other movies that you're planning on doing besides Zookeeper, like you told us for Louis Torres? Yeah, we're gonna do uh, the Soul Collector. I'm also doing um, something else. It's called the uh, the Man from 2015 with uh, Vinny Cuevas, and um, I want to do a lot of Hispanic movies, like in Puerto Rico and stuff like that. Very good, and I'm sure you're going to have a lot of luck, not only with Juan Chamsul, but also Louis Torres and other great producers that you keep in contact with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I no. also like to plug in The Latin Assassins, which was the last movie that we did, mm -hmm. directed by Juan Chamsul Alam and uh, Anna. Yeah. You actually gifted me a copy. Juan Chamsul gave me a copy. Tell me, thi was this was recorded last year, right? That's correct. How did it go? It went pretty well. Uh, it's a little rough with the fighting, but other than that, it was really, really good. We have beautiful weather. We had a great cast again. Mm -hmm. It seems like we never fail on that part. We always seem to get good people to work with us. And uh, I'm hoping that it's going to go to Netflix and people will buy it. Don't forget, <laughs> Latin Assassins. Anna, I know that you also did other great movies with producer Juan Chamsul. I think it was called uh, Once Upon in El Barrio or something? Yes, we did um, Once Upon a Time in El Barrio. It's um, based on a true story from um, Puerto Rico, Lolita Lebron, from 1954. It was a pretty good piece. Um, we also did uh, uh, Greystone. Greystone. Um, that's really good. It's a horror movie, and we did the Latin Assassin. Besides that, we did also some play like um, La Paren. Um, what else? Oh my God! This is like so many projects that mm -hmm. we've been doing. Like I can't remember exactly right now. But all I know that we have a lot of projects actually that we are actually working on right now. And how did you start in this industry? I started modeling. I took some class on modeling, and then um, I met Shansu through an agent, uh, Michael Amato, through mm -hmm. Michael Amato agent, Agency, and then I started working with Shansu as an actress, and then I actually took classes with him. So he's my coach, he's my director, everything. And now, well, we're working together. I had the pleasure to work with Juan Shamsu Alam, that he's a 
great director, great teacher, and really, really good person. I can tell that by how he acts and his personality. Not only that, but mm -hmm. his great history of the movies that he's done and also the plays that he's written. They're pretty good. Now, Juan Angel Salas, we would like to know other plans that you have in the future. I know that there's also this movie, Suave. How do you feel about that? I'm looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. It's a great movie. I've seen part of the script, and it sounds really good. It sounds like I'm really going to be in there showing my craft and, and showing how well things can be. I believe I play uh, the uh, the lead gangster in one of the gangs, so I'm looking forward to that. Tell me, how did you meet Juan, and how's been your experience working with him throughout these old years? That's a good question, which I've asked myself often enough. I always wonder, you know, people say, when did you get you know, in touch with Juan? I really don't know. I can't remember. It was just like we just ran into each other. Either he saw me on the Ola page and called me, or... He saw me doing something, and that's how we connected. So did, do you have other history besides working with Juan Sam Sudi movies? Yes, I did uh, two good minutes uh, with a director that was Lisa. It was a student film, but it was pretty good. I've done a few backgrounds, 30 Rock, uh, New Amsterdam, the movie, uh, The Wise Guys, uh, and a few others that I, I just can't remember right now. But it's all in all, it's every day, every time I do something, it gets better and better. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Ana. Thank and you. thank you, Alfredo thank you. Romeo, for your time. I, want, I hope that you guys can give us another interview once uh, Suave has been finished filming and also when the film is actually goes on play. I will, we would like to go there. And, and have a great view of that movie. Thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you, New York, Mexico TV. Yeah, thank, thank you, guys. You. Any other words? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep on watching, right? Keep in touch with the Juan Chansul Productions, Tuleo Productions. There you go. Oh, Gracias. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Now, this is Cruz Salamia reporting for New York, Mexico TV. Thank you. Adios. Thank you.